Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jules. I love to review anything beauty related, whether it be hair care, makeup, skincare, jewelry, you name it. I love to try things out here, do first impression type videos. I also like to share my experience after using items for multiple days in a row and sharing what worked for me and what didn't. With that being said, today I have an exciting collab between ELF and American Eagle. They recently launched a few items in collaboration with American Eagle. So I picked up the eyeshadow palette, the lip balm, and a new brush that ELF recently launched. So if you'd like to see how I created today's look using these new products from ELF, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Look at how cute. This is the packaging that it comes in. It actually has a tag similar to one you would find on the jeans. So it says Denim Days on the front there. And then on the back, it says Next Level Looks. I love that it says One Size Fits All. Um, it says One Size Fits Every Lip and Face. Express your elf with this limited edition collab inspired by how you feel in your favorite pair of lived in American Eagle jeans. So um, what else does it say? Bring a little extra flair to your look with this palette of 12 matte and shimmer shades made to wear with your favorite jeans. So it's a little slide out packaging right there and then look how adorable this is. This actually feels like denim. Um, this middle part, not so much, but this outer part actually feels like denim. And then you have the same material then there on the back. And then you open it up. Look at how gorgeous these shades are. I thought these were so fun. And then you have a good size mirror right there. It says American Eagle and Elf there on the mirror. Inside here also has this denim texture as well. So this is so cute and so well thought out from the names to the packaging. So I have already primed my eyes with a little bit of Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. I have a new brush that I picked up from e.l.f. This is the Wing It liner brush that I'm gonna try today. I also got this dual-ended nose contour brush. I don't know if I'm gonna show you this or not. I may just um, exclusively leave this video for just the, um, the e.l.f. products that I picked up. I am going to start with corduroy right here. This looks like a grayish brown shade. So I am going to be using my Rosen Ben brushes today. This one is the E29. I like this one because if you want just a quick wash of color all over your lids, this one is so easy to do that with. So I am just going to sweep across that shade a couple of times and start building that shade into the crease. Going to sweep a couple of more times. I can start to see a little bit of color there. Going to sweep one more time just to fill in the gap right here on the outer portion and continuing to just kind of take that all over that general crease area. Just tapping the product right there. Now before I go in, I will just tap that primer to make sure it's not creased before I start working the shadow on it. So I'm gonna take corduroy again to the other side and just start working that into that general area. That is a beautiful base for these blue colors that I wanna start working on top of this. Just making sure that it looks the same on both sides. I'm gonna take my Sonia G Jumbo Blender Brush. I like to, to use this one to blend out the area between the shadow 
in the area that doesn't have shadow to make sure that there are no harsh lines. So I don't have any shadow on here. I'm just using it just to smooth out those edges. There are so many beautiful shades in here. I wish I could use all of them, but I can't use them all for one look. Um, I'm actually going to try dipping into high rise right here and I'm just going to just press once and tap that onto that high point. So it just kind of brightened that area a little bit there on the top. Next, I'm going to take my E28, which is a more concentrated brush. I'm actually going to take Indigo right here. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of Indigo there. I just kind of swept it on top of the shadow a couple of times. And then I'm going to start building that right on this outer edge. This reminds me of an old palette that I had from Bobbi Brown. I think it was a gift from someone, but it actually had a real denim outer packaging to it and it had a zipper. It had these denim sorts of shades in it. So it reminds me a lot of that palette that I had years ago. Same thing to the other side. I like that that shade almost looks black, but it just has a hint of blue in it. So I just kind of feathered that into the shade that we already had there. Next, I am going to take my Rosenben E27. It has this fan shape to it but it really allows you to get in and do detail work. Very similar to this brush that e.l.f. released. I wanna use that one for um, some sort of a winged liner, so I'm gonna save it for that. But now I wanna go into Major Flare, which is this deep, dark, almost chocolate shade, but it looks kind of gray. And I'm gonna take this and just drag this across that shade a couple of times, keeping it just on the edge. And then I'm just going to press that into the actual crease, just to give it a little bit more depth. So I'm just taking it now and following the natural shape of that socket just to define that a little bit more. Oops, made one mistake right there. I'm just going to take this blender brush and sweep that away. Okay, I'm going to blend that a little bit with my blender brush. Okay, I'm gonna take Indigo again with my E28. This looks a little muddy, so I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to take this shade OOTD and I'm going to pop that into the inner corner of my eyes. It's such a beautiful shade. I'm not sure if I need to use um, glitter primer. It doesn't look like it. It's more of a metallic shade. So I am going to grab that. Look how pretty that is. It's like an indigo blue. And I'm going to pop that right into 
the inner corner and blend it out into the rest of the eye. Look how gorgeous that is. I love that shade. I'm not going to go too far into the corner because I have another color that I want to come back and pop in there after I do concealer. I'm just blending it into the other shade there. Okay, I feel like I need to go back into indigo. couple more times and deepen up this outer section. It's not standing up to the boldness of that inner shade. I'm just packing a little bit more of that color on. Okay, this is going to be an intense smoky look as you can see. I am going to go and finish the rest of my makeup so that I can come back and show you the inner corner. Oh, I did want to show you this liner brush though. Wow, this looks like a spot on brush to the Rosen Ben one. And the Rosen Ben one is so unique. I had not seen one like that brush. So it looks like e.l.f. duped it. Okay, I'm not sure how this is going to work. But I am going to take Major Flare, this deepest shade right over here, and I'm going to try to do a liner with that. This does, this is actually a little bit thinner than the Rosen Ben one. So let's see. So you can't see that shade very well against this blue. You can faintly see it. But I think that it is fairly easy to build a wing with eyeshadow using this brush. Okay, I'm back with the completed look. Let's finish off the eyes. So I want to brighten up the eyes a little bit because it looks so intense right now. So I'm thinking mom jeans will be the perfect pop of bright blue in the inner corner there. I'm just cleaning off my E27 so I can use that in the inner corner. So I'm just going to take this and sweep it back and forth a couple of times there. And That's a better angle. So just pushing that into that intersection. I think that's pretty. I'll bring it down a little bit lower. Now I'm debating if I want to pop some of this sparkle there in the center. Okay, I have this shade to die for right here. I'm going to try that right on top of that shade. That is actually so gorgeous. I'm going to carry that on up and connect it with the rest of the look. I'm looking to see what other shades that I can incorporate into this look but I think that is about all I can do. This 90s vibe is so pretty. This is 
chunky glitter. So I press some of it off and I have just a little bit left and I'm gonna just tap that right in that intersection. Gives a little bit more sparkle. That is gorgeous, I love that. Okay, next let's dive into this lip balm. So in this collection, there was the eyeshadow palette, there was a face polish or a face cream, and there was this lip balm. So this is called the Perfect Fit Lip Balm. It's a pH lip balm. It's one of those blue lip balms that changes color according to the temperature of your lips. Here's what it looks like. It's a beautiful packaging. It has a matte velvet type of finish to it. It is not magnetic. There is the color. I don't have anything on my lips right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my lips and let's see what we're working with to see if I need to add a liner or something. Feels very creamy for a lip balm. It has a really good texture to it. I have tried these before from other brands and have not been crazy about the formula. Let me swatch it here for you so you can see it. It is just a clear balm and it's supposed to change color according to the warmth of your skin. I'm watching to see if it changes on here. It looks like it's slightly changing. And then my lips do look a little bit more pink. I'm gonna try adding my Mahogany Lip Liner from MAC to the edges just to see what that does. That is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna go blow dry my hair and add mascara and then let's come back and look at the color of this. I won't add the lip liner just yet. I wanna show you what it looks like when I come back. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to show you the lips. I don't feel like it's gotten a lot darker. It is a little pink. I didn't wipe that off my arm. There's the swatch right there. See, it's not much of a difference. There's a little bit of pinkness to the lips. So let me add my mahogany lip liner and let's see how that looks. better it is very sheer it is a lip balm but i feel like adding the lip liner to it really played up the shade of the lip balm so i'm actually okay with this i did bring down one of elf's o face lipsticks i have it in the shade standing ovation it's just this kind of dusty mauve type of pink shade i'm going to add a little bit just to the center I feel like that brightened it up just a little bit. I did want to finish off the under eyes before I added mascara to the bottom lash line. And I'm trying to decide if I want to take blue on the bottom or if I want to take just a neutral brown shade. I'm actually going to take Elf's liner brush here and I'm going to drag it through corduroy. Just gonna drag it down both sides and place it right on the lower lash line. That actually applies very easily. I think I actually wanna take Major Flare just lightly on both sides and take that on this 
outer edge just to bring down that smokiness just a little bit. And then fade it into the other shade. That's pretty. So I just connected it to the shadow on the top part and just brought it down a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and add mascara to the bottom. I'm going to zoom you out so you can get the full look and then we'll do some swatches. Well, I was going to do live swatches for y'all. I thought I was recording, but I was not. So let me just point out to you which shade is which. Cute overall. Cargos, Corduroy, Low Rise, High Rise, Mom Jeans, To Die For, Indigo, OOTD, Bell Bottoms, 90s Vibe, and Major Flare. Here is the completed look. I think this is such a fun palette and such a great collab that e.l.f. did with American Eagle. I love the theme of this palette. It's so fun and so cute. I think it's very versatile. You can definitely build a glam look with the multi shades that I used for this look today, or you can keep it simple. There's neutrals in this palette. There's the pops of blue, there's the silver, there's so many different shades in there. So I think that this is a very fun palette. It is by e.l.f. so it is on the inexpensive side. And I think the, um, the formula is amazing as well. So even though this is an inexpensive palette, you're still getting amazing blendability, amazing pigmentation you see how vibrant this look is. I was able to build this look on a primer like Rare Beauties, which is not a really heavy duty type of primer. It's kind of an everyday type of primer, yet these shadows worked so beautifully to go on, whether I was using my fingers or a brush. So I really am amazed by the quality of this palette, but e.l.f. has come such a long way I feel like they're doing great in every aspect of makeup. So this is a really fun collab that I think they did and I highly recommend it. As soon as this was launched, I went ahead and went over to e.l.f.'s website and grabbed this. I was so surprised at how quick that it came. So I was able to do this review for you fairly quickly and I'll try to get it up as soon as possible so that hopefully this product does not sell out before you have a chance to buy it. The lip balm I think is very fun with the color changing aspect. I don't think it changed drastically on my skin tone. There was a little change and I think adding the lip liner really played up the balm. I did add a little pop of that brighter pink just in the center just to brighten up the lips just a little bit. But aside from that, I think the lip balm is great. Is it something you have to have? No, I think that it is fun because it is color changing just to see what the warmth of your skin will produce. And the lip balm feels amazing. So if you are in the market for a new lip balm, I think this is a great one, but is this a must have? I don't think so. The brush that I tried, the new brush from e.l.f. This is such a spot on dupe to the Rosen Ben one. Um, I think the only difference is in the thinness of the tip there, I think the e.l.f. one, this is the e.l.f. one. It is a pretty sharp tip, whereas the Rosen Ben one is a little bit fluffier, but it does look very similar. If you weren't able to get the Rosen Ben brush and you're looking for a brush similar to that one, I think this is a really inexpensive dupe to that one. I think that this is very multi-purpose. You saw that I was able to use this in the inner corner as well as this bottom lash line. And then I was also able to create that wing on the outer eye as well. So multi-purpose and inexpensive. And I think that 
Um, it is a great tool to add to your kit if you don't have something like this already. I think that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed as I took you through this new collab. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you have any questions for me, leave those for me down in the comments as well. And if you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And as always, I love you guys. Be blessed and I will see you in the very next one. Bye.